Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kevin Harvick's Bush Fishing Car from 2016. So let's take a quick look at the box. Got your typical generic Harvick box for 2016. Kevin Harvick, number four, Stuart House Racing, picture Harvick right there. Kevin Harvick, you got to render the car, standard finish, Bush beer. They made a total of 841 of these things. Standard finish, Kevin Harvick, Stuart House Racing, and all that typical stuff. Well, let's get that out of the way and get down to the car itself. And man, is this a cool looking paint scheme. Kevin Harvick raced this at Talladega in the spring of 2016, where he ran up front most of the race, led some laps, but got wrecked on the final lap and nearly flipped in this thing. But this was definitely a cool piece. Bush Beer has their trophy cans that are like for different things. They had a fishing one, there was a hunting one. I think there's other ones that they haven't put on cars, but it made for some interesting paint schemes. Hopefully we see more of these brand type cars this year. Oh, you already see sort of one. There's a Bush Bucks car he's running at the All-Star Race this year that's, you know, made up of money. You might have to get that die cast. That's kind of cool. I still want to get the hunting car too because that just looks awesome. But this paint scheme just really screams like late 90s, early 2000s to me. I mean, yeah, it's got some like modern elements, but just the giant fish along the side just for some reason makes me think of like the 90s. I do not know why. But let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Bush Trophy Can. Got four cans, or five cans, plus a golden can. I forget if it's something like you have, like, the golden cans, like a chase can or something. I, I don't know. Chevrolet SS4, Stuart Haas Racing. Got the giant fish on the side. Got Bush. Down there, you have Jimmy John's, Haas, Mac Tools, and Mobile One. Got Bush Beer, Exalta, Bosch, Norton, and Rush Truck Centers. On the C post, you have Mobile One, and on the B post, you have Outback Steakhouse, Ditech, Hunt Brothers Pizza, Mobile One, and Morton Buildings. Does have one winner sticker from, what would that be, Phoenix, I guess? On the back, you have Bush Trophy Can, Kevin Harvick Foundation, Picture more pictures of cans on, like, a dock. On the deck ledge, you have Bush, you have four fishes, I guess, that you would have caught. <laughs> Jimmy John's on the roof, this is number 53. Got the same stuff down the other side, as usual. Let's take a look under the hood. See that it says Chevy, Mobile One, Haas, and Bush Beer. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Take a look under the deck lid. You get your typical fuel cell and such back there. The roof flaps do in fact open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. Like I said, this is kind of the special paint scheme that's not really for everyone, but I just love this thing. Like, just the giant fish along the side is just awesome. Yeah, that's that's the kind of design type thing you don't see very often, so it just makes it cool. The hunting one was, you know, the neon orange one. I'll probably have to get that, and I'll review it if I ever get it, but I really like how that paint scheme looks, too. Bush really just hit it a home run with all their paint schemes this year. Like, every one of their paint schemes is just fantastic. You had the Bush beer car, you had the Bush light car, you had this Bush fishing car, the Bush hunting car, and the Bush throwback. And they were all just incredible looking. I really wish Bush would be his primary more than Jimmy John's, because Bush just makes for some awesome paint schemes. Here is the car next to the 164 scale. Which, yes, it was on a base, and yes, I took it off the base. I should have to spell that out, but somebody's going to be like, Why am I have base? Me get scam. It's like, Jesus I don't know why people are so surprised at this point that people take them off the bases, but it's not hard to do. But anyways, so like I said, this is a pretty awesome car. I'm disappointed he wrecked in it, but he really didn't have much luck with the Bush cars in 2016, which is definitely a shame. Like he blew an engine or something with the hunting car. This one he got wrecked on the final lap. I don't know. I like the Bush cars 10 times better. I do not like the Jimmy John's cars at all. If you want this die cast, it's actually starting to disappear a little bit. Same with the hunting car, which I'm not surprised about at all. These are kind of unique one-offs, so those are always fun. So if you want it, you might have to look for it, but you might get lucky and find one on eBay or something. But I think that's pretty much all there is to say. This has been a review of Kevin Harvick's Bush Trophy Can Fishing Car. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.